Across the past decade, an increasing water demand has been identified in northern Colombo and Gampa districts of Sri Lanka. Accordingly, in 2012, the National Water Supply and Drainage Board commissioned a feasibility study for a new water treatment plant on the right bank of the Kalani River, with the aim of meeting this demand. A new plant of 180 megaliter per day capacity was proposed to be located adjacent to the existing Biagama water treatment plant that is already operated by the water board. This KRB2 contract, which, in addition to the treatment plant, also comprises more than 22 kilometers of new transmission pipelines, as well as measures to alleviate pollution of the Kalani River, was subsequently awarded in 2015 to the French company Suez on a design-build basis and the works commence in early 2017. Based on state-of-the-art technologies, this new water treatment plant and its transmission lines will ensure safe and reliable water supply to more than 1.7 million Sri Lankans. Using its renowned expertise, the Suez team developed and performed the designs and procurement in close contact with NWSDB engineers and successfully managed the entire construction and commissioning with its main civil subcontractor, MAGA, and a host of specialist Sri Lankan ME subcontractors involving up to 1,500 dedicated employees. Despite the challenges posed by a global pandemic, from October 2020 onwards, the plan started to produce drinking water in compliance with stringent quality standards. And through the use of an advanced automation system, the plant can be safely and reliably operated on a 24-7 basis. The KRB2 plant represents a remarkable landmark project for water treatment in South Asia and a success of which the National Water Supply and Drainage Board can be rightly proud. Honorable Prime Minister of Sri Lanka, Mahindra Rajapaksa, dignitaries from the government, Minister of Water, distinguished representatives of the National Water Supply and Drainage Board, member of institutional authorities and His Excellence French Ambassador Sir Eric Lavertu. This inauguration ceremony is graced by your presence and we are delighted to welcome you at the Kelani Riverbank Water Treatment Plant. Due to the world health crisis and the current travel restrictions, I'm unfortunately not able to participate to this ceremony on site. But as Senior Vice President of Suez, in charge of International, I would like to thank you for your trust in the expertise of Suez teams who have been mobilized on this project since more than four years. The KRB plan has been delivered on time and without safety incidents despite the challenging pandemic prevailing over the last several months. I take this opportunity to thank you and congratulate the government of Sri Lanka, NWSDB, Suez employees and partners for their engagement, support and perseverance in completion of the works. Our company remains committed to improving water and sanitation for the inhabitants of Sri Lanka, and we are looking forward to future associations in the water and in the environmental fields. Thank you.